This is Lisna Garvey High School, located right here in Warren Gardens. Welcome to my school. We've been around now for over 60 years and thousands of pupils just like me have called this place home. Let's take a look. Today, Lisna Garvey High School is recognised as a leader in education right here in Lisburn and our name is growing in the wider community. People just like you. Because we have been building year on year over the last seven years. This is our foyer, and right over here is our administration office. Hi Wendy. Hi Grace. Right down here is where all our important people are. Like our principal. Hi Mr. Sheeran. Hi Grace. Here are our computer suites. Let's go check them out. We have digital technology in all of our classrooms that provides students and staff with a seamless experience. Through the use of technology, we ensure that all of our students are able to access the same opportunities offered by larger, less personal schools in the Lisburn area. We are one of the few remaining schools that still offers a dedicated period of ICT on the Key Stage 3 timetable every week, and this is taught by a specialist ICT teacher. This allows us to offer exciting, innovative technologies, such as the activities that you can see on the video right now. All of our students are involved in specialist lessons, not only in ICT, but also in... Morning, Grace! Morning, Mr. Fair! Do you want to come in Northern Design? <laughs> sure! Come on in! This is experiment. This is working like an artist. This is sculpture. This is portraiture combined with landscape. Follow me and I'll show you our technology and design department. So in the English department, um, we really strive to provide a happy, safe and purposeful learning environment for our young people. When planning the learning, we always ask ourselves, will it get them talking? Will it get them listening? and will it get them thinking? Everything we do is pupil-centred in terms of their well-being and of course their futures when they leave us at Lisna Garvey High School. I'm so happy to say that we have outstanding results year on year in English language, in English literature and in drama. So we are doing our part to really contribute to the young people's futures. Um, would you like to share what you've written with the class? We really appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Um, all about me. Hello, my name is Enzo Cardova Lanusas. I got my name Enzo from my father. He's always wanted an Enzo Ferrari. My parents are both nurses and my brother is a civil engineer. I don't have any pets, but I almost got a pet hamster. But my dad said no because it was too much responsibility. My family and I have a lot of favorite movies, but the best movies I have watched are Toy Story, Please Don't Judge Me With That, and Fast and Furious 9. My favorite hobbies are coding, 3D modeling, and I also make short videos on music, but they're not really that good. My favorite foods are pizza, adobo, which is a Filipino cuisine, and binagoongan, which is a spicy pork. My favorite book would have to be Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. My favorite teachers are Dr. McKinstry, Mrs. Longridge, and Mrs. Douse. Sorry to all the other teachers. While I'm on the topic of school, my favorite subject is science, as I love science. Let's check out our science department. You guys have to? We are doing a collapsing cam experiment. Well, first of all, the can fills with steam, and where do you see what happens? Me, I'm Monsignor Stanfield, and I'm Head of Modern Languages. We introduced Spanish as part of the curriculum in 2013, after we won first prize in a UK-wide competition run by the Spanish Embassy. Since then, we have seen lots of pupils choose Spanish for GCSE, and have enjoyed an average of a 100% pass rate. We look forward to meeting you in person. Hasta pronto! Samuel. Hola, me llamo Samuel. Esta es mi clase de español y aquí tenemos mis compañeros. Hi Beth. Hi Grace. What are you studying?
studying today. This is my maths class and we're calculating the surface area. Do you want to come and have a look? Yeah, sure. We've already done questions very similar to one and two, so I want you to go down and have a go at question three, please. Okay? So we're learning about our different types of physical geography at each of our stations here today. And geography. Oh, hi, Grace. Hi, Mrs. Kerr. It's a very gentle volcano. What do you think your summer holidays, Mickey Mouse, football, and breaking and entering have in common? They're all things that we study in the geography department here at Nisnagarby High School. But one of our favourite things to study is volcanoes. And we love it so much that we even take a trip to Italy where we can stand on the rim of Mount Vesuvius. It's incredible. And this is our library. Our vision is to provide learning spaces that inspire and engage our learners as they move through their learning journey. We have a strong music focus here at Lisna Garby, with tutors teaching all of the main instruments. We also have a school choir. Fall back the river, fall back, fall back the river, let me look in your eyes, fall back the river so I can stop for a minute and see where you hide, fall back the river, fall back. Okay, so some Downton Abbey fans in the class will remember Lady Sybil in action as a Red Cross nurse. Now, here. let's step back into history. In our archives, we have found some letters from one of the nurses and it sheds more light on the difficulties of some of the nursing. As well we as all know that women. this year has been a challenging time for all of us, but last August we were astounded with what we had heard. Yet again, the pupils, the parents and the staff have celebrated the highest level of achievement at GCSE in the history of our school. Hi Corin. Hello Grace. This is our sixth form common room where all our sixth formers hang out. Did I mention that our A-level results are consistently above Northern Ireland's average for secondary school? The best set of exam results ever. To have done so is absolutely superb. This is our school gym. We have heaps of sports here, including netball, basketball, rugby, boys football, girls football, boys hockey, girls hockey, handball, and even archery. Our school has a very healthy trophy cabinet. In fact, We've been cup champions, league winners, and team of the year in under 15 football. And that's only the boys. Last year, our girls football team were senior champions. In rugby football, we were Pollock Cup finalists and high school cup semi-finalists. We have been district champions in netball and in basketball. We are developing our school so that it feels like a place that our staff, students, and community wants to be. I've been working here for over 20 years now. And it's a place once you join, you never want to leave. I'd like to, to, to welcome you along. I, I would normally get an opportunity to speak to all of the primary seven and primary six children um, at our open night. But unfortunately this year, it's not that case. Um, I would like to talk to you about the results and some of the things which are important to us. Um, the important thing to us is our values in the school. I've been principal for the last 14 years and the values in the school are really what make the school so important. It's about the relationships which we have with individual students. It's about the success that we bring for each pupil in our school. And it's about having a caring sense for each other, building a sense of responsibility and meeting your individual needs. Um, but success for, for everybody at Lister Garvey High School, this is what it looks like. And, uh, here are the results of the last 14 years. And you can see the massive transformation as the school has, has come to the standing levels of performance. Uh, but most importantly here we can see that students, um, all of our students are, are gaining five or more GCSEs. And you can see across the last seven years that we have had this very, very top level of performance where up to the, the last two years we have had 70% of our students getting five GCSEs, including English and Maths. Now this puts us into the, not just the top category of school, but into the top 5% of schools in Northern Ireland. And then if you have a look at this table here, you can see that here we are placed as the 15th best non-grammar school in Northern Ireland. And 
to be honest with you, it's something we're very, very proud of. But most importantly, we're proud of our pupils. We're proud of what they do and the work they do and the fact that we work with them to get such a level of success. Thank you for taking a tour around this brilliant school. And if you're in P7, we hope to welcome you in September next year. In fact, Chris Rooley! I better get back to class. See you later!